Hello and welcome to another great Pro Bike with GCN. I'm Tom Last and I'll be your host. Kevin Powles is one of the most consistent riders on the cyclocross circuit, which is reflected in his World Cup results, and he's also got one of the best kicks in the bunch, so if you take him into the last lap, he's probably going to win the sprint. And this is his Ridley x Knight SL. Let's start with the contact points, things that Kevin holds onto, sits on, and puts the power through. He's got Forza, and Forza is Ridley's own brand, Cirrus Pro carbon fibre handlebars. Carbon fibre handlebars would perhaps have been a strange choice a few years ago, but now most cross riders use them for the weight saving and kind of gain in stiffness. The pedals are Shimano XTRs, so that's where he puts the power through when he's sprinting. And the saddle is actually a really, really unusual choice. Not one that I've ever seen a cyclocross rider using before. And that's a Sele SMP Stratos saddle. It's got a really deep channel down the middle, which is supposedly very good for riders who are doing long distance road rides, but for a discipline where you're hopping in and out of the saddle and stuff like that. Yeah, an interesting choice, and we'll have to see if Kevin continues to use it through the season. Kevin's frame and fork are supplied by Ridley, and they're the x Knight SL. So the x Knight was already an incredibly light bike, so this takes it to a whole nother level. I really like the red and black paint job, but my favorite thing about the paint job is the way that the TRP Revox carbon brakes match it perfectly, also with red and black. So with the contact points, frame and the brakes covered. Let's take a look at the group set and Pals is using a Dura Ace DI2 group set. Again, nothing particularly out of the ordinary there. He does match it, however, with a Rotor 3D Plus chain set and Pals' chain rings are 3946, so really the standard choice for most riders. On a dry, fast day, he's probably gonna be in the 46 most of the time. On a wetter day, he might be in the 39. He pairs that with an 11 through to 28 cassette, so it gives him a lot of options for steep hills or steep descents. The mechs, like the shifters, are both Dura Ace Di2, and on the front mech, just here, he has a rotor chain catcher, so my fear with that is it could potentially interfere with some mud clogging in cyclocross, but Powell's with a pit crew as well drilled as he has, and as many identical spare bikes as he has, that's probably not an issue because a bike change is not something that takes much extra time at all, and for that little bit of extra security, knowing that you're not going to lose your chain, it's well worth it. The wheels are fast forward wheels, not a brand we see a lot of, but again, gone to a lot of effort matching the decals with the overall look of the frame and the team kit. They're a medium depth and they're not marked, but I suspect they're probably somewhere between 35 and 45 millimeters wide. They look a little narrower, so we've seen some brands like Zip have gone for wider rims, but these are maybe not quite there yet. The tubular tires are Dugast Typhoon 32 millimeters. The Typhoon tread is something that's gonna cover a lot of conditions, dry and dusty through to pretty wet and slippery. I think it's time for some vital statistics. The results are in. The Dugas 32mm tubular tyres actually come in at 31.48mm, according to our calipers. Pals' saddle height is about 725 and his reach is about 54 which I find encouraging because this bike would fit me perfectly, although I'm not about to ride off on it. So the weight is 7.3kg, so 500g over the UCI weight limit. Actually really light when you consider that it's got knobbly tyres and heavier brakes on the many road bikes which also weigh 7.3 kilos. So. I hope you liked our little look at Kevin Powell's bike. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it too. If you'd like to see some more cyclocross pro bikes, and we do have plenty more on GCN, click right there. And to see some cyclocross how-to videos, find out how to ride like a pro, click down there. Finally, to subscribe to GCN, you know it's the right thing to do. Click on, no, don't click on me. Click on Kevin Powell's rotor chain set.